Pop quiz time. When was the e-fuse invented? If you answered 2004, you are correct. And in the 20 years since their invention, they have found themselves designed into a wide range of electronic designs, including wearables, industrial automation applications, IoT edge devices, and more. But why is that? What does an e-fuse bring to the table that conventional fuses do not? I'm glad you asked, because that's exactly what we're talking about today. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. E-fuse ICs provide better protection performance than conventional mechanical fuses. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Tala Sideri from Toshiba and I chat about the what, where, and how of eFuse technology. We also investigate the benefits that Toshiba's TCKE9 eFuses bring to server power management and how you can get started using a TCKE9 eFuse in your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Toshiba. Hi, Tala. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Amelia. It's great talking to you today. Excellent. So we're talking about TCKE9 eFuses today. But Tala, before we dig into the details, what specific topics will we be covering today? So today I'll be presenting an advanced circuit protection solution, specifically the TCKE9 eFuses from Toshiba. This is a multifunctional and reliable protection device and is designed to meet the demands of modern electronics. I'll be starting with understanding of why an eFuse is necessary, followed by application examples, the latest eFuse IC products, potential application scenarios, and finally, a summary and call to action. Fantastic. Now, can you talk about the fundamentals of an e-fuse a bit? Why would I want to use an e-fuse in my next design? An e-fuse offers intelligent power monitoring and protection that surpasses conventional mechanical fuses. It's repeatable, requiring no replacement, and reduces maintenance costs. It's smart with internal circuits that determine acceptable levels of overcurrent and overvoltage. And it's accurate thanks to small margins that allows for easier designs and it's fast with short circuit, fast trip time of just 150 nanoseconds. Can you explain how the TCKE9 differs from other e-fuses on the market? So compared to conventional fuses, e-fuses provide better protection and performance because of the repeatability. Tala, I know that e-fuses can be very useful for power management and hot swapping. Keeping that in mind, what specific applications would e-fuses be a good fit for? So some application examples and usages of an e-fuse would be the protection of the power rails from hot plugging. When components are inserted or removed from a running system, an e-fuse helps prevent issues like short-circuiting, chatter, or inrush currents. E-fuses are versatile and can be used in various power management and hot swapping applications. They're ideal for servers, HDDs, SSDs, USB-C power delivery, wireless charging, mobile devices, and many more. So, the future slides will show how eFuses integrates into different systems to provide reliable protection. Okay, so can we circle back to the basic usage of an eFuse? So as you can see in this slide, it demonstrates the basic usage of eFuse ICs across different devices, such as consumer electronics, ICT equipment, industrial equipment, mobile devices, and they all offer protection for power supply units, CPU motors, batteries, and other critical components, ensuring the safety and long life of these systems. Okay, so Tala, can you explain how the flag output enhances system fault detection? The flag output provides an immediate signal when a fault such as overcurrent or thermal shutdown occurs, enabling quick identification and troubleshooting of issues in the system. The flag output 
is most beneficial in systems requiring high reliability, uptime, such as servers, data centers, industrial automation, where fast fault detection is critical to prevent system downtime or damage. So when using a conventional fuses, identifying a system fault will be very challenging. However, by using e-fuses with flag output, it can not only protect power rails, but also detect system faults. So let me show you on the next slide how a circuit example shows the flag output helping indicating the fault location on the main power supply board. Each circuit board in the system is uh, monitored by e-fuses and the flag output triggers an LED fault indicator when a fault occurs, providing a clear and immediate feedback on the system status. Let's get into the specifics of the TCKE9. What kind of specifications are we looking at with this e-fuse? This series of e-fuses offer a 25-volt 4-amp e-fuse with a low on resistance of about 34 milliohm, making it a robust and efficient solution. It features fast short circuit protection, adjustable overcurrent limit, adjustable slew rate, and is fully compatible with competitor products. The TCKE9 is also designed to meet the IEC 62368-1 certification for safety in audio and video information and communication equipment. So Tala, can you explain the significance of the ultra low on resistance in this design? Yeah, the TCKE9 series offers a sophisticated yet easy to understand internal circuit design. The key features include adjustable over current protection, ultra low R-on of 34 to 36 milliohm, adjustable slew rate control, and high accuracy over voltage clamp. These attributes make the TCKE9 series an excellent choice for a wide range of applications. Fantastic. Now, Tala, what do you think are the biggest benefits that this solution brings to the table? The TCKE9, it keeps the output voltage stable even during overvoltage input and maintain output current under the current limit with high accuracy. As you can see, different TCKE9 versions have a different upper and lower close accuracy margins, and therefore they respond fast in shutting off the output current and helps during a short circuit event. Additionally, the adjustable slew rate function minimizes inrush current and enhances overall circuit safety. So what considerations should be taken into account when selecting the appropriate TCKE9 model? The TCKE9 series offer various product numbers with different output voltage clamps and thermal shutdown response types. For example, Amelia, the TCKE905NL provides a 5.7 volt output voltage clamp with an active high latch response. These lineups ensure that customers can choose the most appropriate e-fuse for their specific needs. Okay, so which of these applications do you believe represents the most significant growth opportunity for the TCKE9. So for example, in smartphone battery protection, the TCKE9's features ensures the batteries are safeguarded against power surges and excessive current draws. For other applications for industrial automation systems, its robust protection capabilities make it ideal for protecting sensitive electronics under unpredictable power conditions. In wearable fitness devices, the low power consumption and fast fault response protects sensitive electronics without draining the battery. Tala, can you walk us through a real-world example where the TCKE9 successfully prevented a potential failure? As I mentioned, uh, smartphone battery protections, industrial automation systems, and wearable fitness devices, they all can use the TCKE9 for low power consumption and robustness. Another example to mention here is for IoT edge devices. The TCKE9's low standby current minimizes the need for frequent maintenances and making it perfect for remote locations. All right. So... What do you think are the primary benefits of using the TCKE9 in server power management? 
It protects critical components like DRAM, HDDs, SSDs, or PCIe Express interfaces from overvoltage, overcurrent, short circuit. All these good characteristics will support the design. The TCKE9 also ensures reliable operation in power supply and computing blocks, enhancing the overall robustness of the server system. What role does the bus switches play in conjunction with the TCKE9 in USB applications? In USB applications, the TCKE9 series offers significant advantages, particularly in USB Type-C environments. Bus switches also work alongside the TCKE9 by managing the routing and isolation of data and power lines, ensuring smooth transitions during hot swapping and protecting components from voltage fluctuations. Bus switches maintain signal integrity and provide switching control, which enhances the overall reliability and performance of the USB switch. The recommended diodes, also in the block diagram, provides protection on power lines and data lines, ensuring safe operation, even under high-speed data transfer conditions. The TCK-E9's integration with the EST protection diode series for VBUS protection and the TVS diodes for the data line protection enhances the overall safety and reliability of the USB systems. What are the key advantages of using thermal flagger in high temperature environments? The TCKE9 eFuse can be paired with Toshiba's thermal flagger to create a comprehensive protection system. This synergy allows for shutdown of circuits in case of excessive heat generation at different points on a PCB further safeguarding your device from potential damage. So what specific online resources would you recommend for engineers looking to implement the TCKE9? So to learn more about the TCKE9, eFuse, and other Toshiba products, you can access a range of online resources. These resources provide detailed technical information, application notes, and support to help the customer integrate Toshiba's e-fuses in their designs effectively. All right. So to wrap things up, Tala, what do you think sets the TCKE9 apart from other e-fuse solutions on the market? Toshiba's TCKE9 series offers a reliable, compact, and versatile e-fuse solution suitable for a wide range of applications. So whether you're dealing with a high voltage, high current power rails, or simply looking for an effective power protection solution, the TCKE has you covered. All right. So Tala, how can potential customers get started with integrating the TCKE9 into their projects? Now that you've seen the benefits of the TCKE9, it's time to take action. Customers can get a sample, They can read the press release, application notes, or request evaluation boards in future to explore the TCKE9 in more details. These resources will help you see firsthand how Toshiba's eFuse ICs can simplify accurate power rail protection while reducing board area requirements. We are committed to provide innovative solutions that protect your circuits and enhance the reliability of your design. So whether you use a polyfuse and need more accurate overcurrent protection, use an e-fuse. Does your power switch need protection? Use an e-fuse. Fantastic. Well, Tala, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your time and your attention. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Toshiba. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.